The extrahepatic biliary apparatus receives the bile from liver, stores and concentrates it in the gallbladder and transmits it to the second part of the duodenum when required. It begins with the right and left hepatic ducts, which join together to form the common hepatic duct. The gallbladder lies in the fossa for gallbladder on the inferior surface of the right lobe of the liver. The gallbladder is divided into the following three parts fundus, body, and neck. The neck, in its posterior medial wall, shows a pouch like dilatation called Hartmann's pouch. This pouch is directed downward and backward. The neck of the gallbladder is continuous with the cystic duct. The cystic duct joins at an acute angle with the common hepatic duct to form the bile duct, also called the common bile duct. The common bile duct lies in front of the portal vein, goes downward, passes behind the first part of the odenum, and empties into the second part of the odenum. Before empties into the second part of the odenum, fuses with the main pancreatic duct, thus creating the hepatopancreatic ampulla of water, which bulges the mucous membrane of the odenum inward, forming the major duodenal papilla. The terminal parts of bile and pancreatic ducts, as well as ampulla, are surrounded by smooth muscle sphincters. The sphincter around the bile duct is called sphincter colledocus of Boyden. The sphincter around the pancreatic duct is called sphincter pancreaticus. And the sphincter around the ampulla is known as sphincter of Odi. The three sphincters are independent of duodenal musculature. The sphincters remain closed until the gastric contents enter the duodenum, stimulating its mucosa to release hormone called cholecystokinin. This hormone, in addition to causing contraction of the gallbladder, relaxes these sphincters, allowing bile and pancreatic secretions to enter the duodenum. Now let's discuss about a very important region called cystohepatic triangle of Calot. The cystohepatic triangle is bounded on the right side by the cystic duct, on the left side by common hepatic duct, and above by inferior surface of the liver. The apex of triangle faces downward between the cystic and common hepatic ducts. The contents of the triangle are right hepatic artery, cystic artery, and cystic lymph node of Lund. The identification of cystohepatic triangle and its contents help the surgeon to locate the pedicle of a gallbladder and its ligation in cholecystectomy. The cystic node of Lund, present in the apical part of this triangle, receives most of the lymph from gallbladder and is constantly found enlarged in cholecystitis.